Hi guys, Phoenix here. Today I have a really good video for you and it's about uh, the best way to back up your data. Now in the past, let's say I have a lot of data, uh, movies, software, games, etc. What I would do is I would copy everything and paste it onto my external drive. Well that's all well and good, right? But what if in the future you, for example, delete some files off of one of the folders and then you, you, cut, you add new files. So then when you, when you you know, when you want to back them up to your external drive, you're not going to sit there and, you know, see what you've deleted and manually delete those and then copy the new ones. It's going to be very time consuming, especially when your data is increasing more and more. So there's got to be a smarter way for us, like using some program to basically have it compare whatever is on your source drive, your, your local hard drive, and make the same changes on the external, as in deleting or adding new files, etc. So I found this program called SyncBack, and there's a free version, which is, you know, sufficient enough to do what we're doing today. Uh, I bought the pro version just because it has a little new features, although I, re I don't really use them. But anyway, uh, I, I will have a link in the description of, of where to download SyncBack free. So let's get started. We're going to launch the program after we've installed it, obviously. And I don't have any profiles yet because it's a brand new installation, so I'm going to hit new. Now it wants me to give it a name, so I'm going to be backing up the software folder as, as an example here. So I'll type software. Hit next. Now backup will just copy the new files. It wouldn't delete any of the files uh, on, on the external hard drive if you've actually deleted them from your computer. So that's not a very good way of having an ex exact replica of what's on your PC right now. Uh, so what we want to do is choose the mirror. Synchronize with that will obviously back up and copy from the external drive, uh, vice versa, as you can see in the animation that is shown here. So what I want to do is mirror, and that's going to copy whatever new files of, of, I have on my original drive and delete whatever files I've actually deleted. So let's hit next. And here we're saying the source is going to be an internal or external drive. Same for the destination. Just hit done. And now we get a little window asking us to say where to copy from and where to. So we're going to select the source and I'm going to select D software. That's my uh, source. Just say select folder here. And the destination, I want to specify the same folder on the external drive. Now, if you didn't have any folders here, you just simply right click hit new folder and create a subfolder and name it software or whatever you're backing up. So we'll hit software, select the folder, and hit OK. okay we don't want to run a simulated run, we'll just hit no. It's going to run this. So let, let's take an example here and, and actually run this. In fact, let, let me delete this profile and I'm going to load back all my other profiles, which I had them saved before. You can actually import and export the profiles. So import, I save them in the documents, sync back. So the way I've configured this, as you can see here in the source, is all of it is from D, which is my uh, internal drive on the laptop. And the destination is W, which is my Western Digital external hard drive. And L is I have another uh, 128 gig external flash drive, which I like to carry around with me, which has my drivers and software and you know documents and whatnot. So uh, I also back that up. So what if you select all of them and hit run, it's going to copy everything only the changes, obviously, since I've, I've already had them copied before, onto those two drives simultaneously. So let's hit run. Okay, so it found these changes, uh, one of my game folders. Let's hit continue. It's copying them to this destination. Right? In my software folder, it's, it found out that, that, I, that I deleted this Garmin Express and this Blu-ray player, and I've actually updated it to the new version, as you see here. So deleting from destination, copying from destination, it's basically creating an exact replica of whatever I have locally on my computer.
Now, as you can see, this is going to take just about 50 seconds because it's only copying and modifying the changes. Uh, this is obviously much faster than if you had to recopy everything from scratch to ensure that you have the latest stuff on your backup drives. Okay, so now the um, backup is completed. Let's just take a look. At, uh, let's take a look. Uh, take a look at an example. If we change anything, so I'm going to go to my documents folder. I'm going to go to this folder called forms, where I place all my stuff that I usually copy paste in forms. Okay, let's go to let's say Furmark. Sorry, that's a. Okay. So there's a dot here, right? I'm just going to delete this period, for example. Just a small change, but the program is going to detect any change that run. Everything says success because there were no changes in the other ones since we just backed them up. But it found this little change here, so it's going to copy that. And also to the, to the external flash drive, continue. And we're done. So this is the smartest and, and, and safest way of backing up your data in, in one shot. You can do multiple backup locations. You can even specify to back up to your NAS network locations, etc. With a pro version, you can uh, back up to like, you know, external file sharing sites or FTPs like uh, Dropbox or OneDrive what, and whatnot. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you. Thank you for watching. Phoenix out.